Science Grade 10 Unit 1, Earth and Space Week 3, Plate Tectonics Hi, dear students! Today is another beautiful day and another day to learn a new lesson. Once again, I am Teacher May and I will be your teacher today. Module 1, Distribution of Active Volcanoes, Earthquake Epicenters, and Major Mountain Belts Most Essential Learning Competency Describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to plate tectonic theory. This lesson is based on the Science 10 Regional Self-Learning Module. For today's lesson, we will perform three activities. These are, stick it up, locate it, and mark the boundaries. Are you ready to begin? Let's start! First, let us recall your previous lesson. We learned that earthquake epicenters and volcanoes are not randomly distributed over the Earth's surface. Most earthquake epicenters and volcanoes are concentrated in narrow zones and are located at the edge of some continents and the Pacific Plate, and that Earthquake epicenters and volcanoes are both situated at the same locations. It is also important to identify areas which are prone to earthquakes in order to be prepared for possible disasters. Activity number 9. Locate it. Our objective is to locate the mountain range in the map. Materials, map of mountain ranges. In the given map, refer to figure 8, map of major mountain belts. Locate the mountain ranges in the world. Then, list down the mountain ranges and the location in the map. Guide questions. Question number 1. What are the mountain ranges in the map? What are the mountain ranges in the map? Time's up! The possible answers are Himalayas, Andes, Alps, Rocky Mountains, Ural Mountains, and the rest of the smaller mountain belts. Question number two. How many are the major mountain ranges in the world? How many are the major mountain ranges in the world? The five known major mountain ranges are the Himalayas, Andes, Alps, Rocky Mountains, and Ural Mountains. The answer? Five. 